Aries, I've been shuffling the deck already. I'm about to get your reading started. I'm going to try to make it quick. And I'm going to try to keep the video under 10 minutes. If you have any additional questions, hit me up for a private reading. And we can go ahead and dig a little deeper. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get this general reading started. So Aries, it looks like you've been working on things in your love life. I feel like it's definitely been um, a season of watching things grow, weighing out the pros and cons. And I feel like um, either you want to speak the truth or someone has told you the truth about something in your relationship. And it caused a major um, disconnect in the two of you. I feel like you guys were working on your relationship really hard. Um, and I feel like more recently you've just felt like it's not worth the battle. Um, the current energy that you're in is saying that you're working on your emotional fulfillment. So I would have to say, it looks like you've left a situation for a new situation that is more emotionally fulfilling. Um, I feel like you guys are still working on the, um, I wanna say you're still working on the stability of the relationship, such as living together, um, bringing the children together. I feel like currently you two are wrapped up and you definitely see a future together, maybe even see more children together. Um, but right now I feel like you're kind of just hanging out and uh, allowing the passion to grow between you and your new person. But I definitely feel like there is a sense of looking into the future and wanting to make things better than you did with the last relationship. I feel like you're trying to stay on the, on the you know, tight and narrow. You have a lot of ideas on how to get things done right this time. I feel like you two are talking more about business or strengthening the foundation of the relationship. But in the future, I do see you guys um, feeling a bit stuck. So I'm not sure if you're not 100% sold on staying together forever. You're just sure that you care for one another. So it's important that you express all of this to your partner as things progress in the relationship or make sure that you're doing what you need to to nurture the relationship and keep things truthful and to the point. It'll make sure, it'll make your mental health towards this relationship to be a lot more clear, a lot less stressful. Um, I feel like, you know, you were in a lot of competition before in your last relationship. And it caused you a lot of headaches. And I feel like this way, um, this relationship is going, going to be different for you. And you're putting forth a lot of that effort to make sure that it is different for you. So in the recent past, um, you know, as I mentioned, it was showing the breakup. And your current energy is saying that you've decided to take a new path. It's been difficult for you to stop the communication with your ex <clears throat> but I kind of feel like either you ghosted them or they ghosted you. And right now, you're concerned that they might come back. But this person left you out in the cold. And in the future, you're going to remember that. You're not going to forget about this very easily. So the Five of Pentacles is here for the future. Um, showing that you are no longer feeling like you're in that stuck place where you have no options. Give me a, another clarifying card for the Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so I feel like, you know, the person that you were with before doesn't want to see you taking on new endeavors and being happy. So, you know, I would definitely be, 
praying and keeping myself prayed up to reverse any negative energy that they might be trying to put on you. Um, let me see what's at the bottom of the deck here. Star. So your energy is extremely magnetic. I feel like a lot of people look up to you, are inspired by you. And there's a lot of haters as well, people who don't want to see you win. So I feel at this time, it's best that you just stay with your nose narrow into um, the path that you're taking. Pay close attention to what's going on around you. Um, remembering to use your intuition. I, for, I feel like you have already made your decision and you know what you need to do and you know where your emotional fulfillment is at. And I say, chase that. Get that. Keep that. Being emotionally fulfilled is a beautiful thing and it's definitely leading to somewhere stable and solid for you. So don't get in your own way and self-sabotage. You know what you do. And, um, you know, don't let other people influence how you feel about your relationship. I see the Knight of Swords here, so I can see that, you know, at times there could be some petty arguing happening in this situation, whether it be with the ex, which I feel like it is with the ex. You need to keep that to a minimum. You don't want that to interfere with your new relationship. I mean, who wants to deal with anybody in their drama? You know what I'm saying? So stay drama free, stay focused, put in your efforts in the new relationship. Things will be successful for you. You've made a decision, stick with it. Keep good karma coming for you because I feel like that is what you have coming. Um, and that is why your current state of emotions is in a happy place. You're feeling better than you were before. And that is a beautiful thing. Okay. All right, Aries. Well, I hope y'all liked y'all's video. I told you I would keep it short and sweet. I am going to go ahead and do a couple of my own cards since I have a, couple, a little bit more time. Give me a couple cards for Aries. <laughs> I feel like your toxic ex is trying to come through. Let's see. What does the toxic ex have to say? Anyone would be so lucky to have you. So I feel like they're in remorse. Whoever this was is definitely in remorse. They're saying choose wisely. So if you're leaving them alone, Choose wisely. Truth brings change. Okay, so, you know, you may have found out the truth about your last person and it may have affected you greatly to the point where you've decided that you don't even want to be in a relationship. But I feel like this new person has given you inspiration. So that's a beautiful thing. I hope that you, you know, use that to your full advantage. I have a bra hanging on this chair. That's interesting. No, I don't have it on. My bad. I just came over here to talk to y'all this morning. I wasn't expecting to get started quite yet, but I decided, why not? I'm here. I'm playing with my cards. One more card, please, for the X. Spirit, one more card for the X. Thank you. I don't know why I feel so confused. So you may get a lot of hot and cold energy from the ex, and I feel like they wanted you to pick them, but the truth that you found out changed everything, and this person doesn't really have a chance anymore. What about the future person? Spirit, what do we have? Opposites attract, baby. So if you and your new person are different, let me see, let's see. you are my sunshine. Aww. I like the new person's vibes. One more for the new person, please. Oops. Living on a Prayer. Um, there's a Bon Jovi song called Living on a Prayer. And I feel like this is exactly what you prayed for. So congratulations, Aries. Whoever the new person is, try to make that work. All right. I love y'all. Bye, Juicy Gang. See you soon.